It looks like a sack fly must have occurred and the runner scored or got gunned out. Now we, ch oh shit, god damn it. All I'm gonna tell you straight up is that you want to watch this video fully through because I'm gonna be answering a lot of questions that I received in my comment section throughout the entirety of this video. We're gonna start off with the settings that you want to go ahead and upgrade your ball player the fastest way possible. You're gonna head on over to settings, you're gonna go to the three dots and you're gonna go ahead and save as new preset, create from current because these are your default settings which you normally play on. You're gonna then edit the preset name and you're gonna rename it Road to the Show. I'm gonna rename it road to the show too because i already have my preset and then after that we go to gameplay we change the hitting difficulty from whatever you have it on to beginner the pitching difficulty from whatever you have it on to beginner and then for the mode specific all you want to do is make sure the game flow is skipped to next appearance and then you don't want any showtime opportunities you want all your fielding opportunities and then you only want to base run whenever you are the lead runner after you go ahead and do all of that all you're gonna do is use as default once exiting this screen and then we're gonna head on over to our ball player so i've also received the question of hey i don't like my archetype how can i change my archetype once you created a ball player you cannot change the archetype of that ball player you can only change the loadout you change the loadout by going into the ball player section in the top left at the home page screen selecting that loadout and then it will give you the options of loadouts you can change it to but each archetype has a limited amount of loadouts you can go ahead and change it to now, if you want to change your archetype, you don't want to change your loadout, you have to then go to this section right here where it says manage. And in this manage section, you go ahead and create or change a ball player. And in one of these slots, you will create that new ball player with the archetype that you want. So now let's talk about the fastest way to grind your ball player and upgrade your ball player while getting a ton of XP per game. I'm getting over 800 XP, which is beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and load my save file, but if you don't have a role to the show, then you go ahead and create one. It does not matter where you play, honestly speaking. You can play wherever. This is beginner difficulty, so the ball is going to jump without a problem now in the ball player section instead of me using the ball player loadout that has all the power instead i changed it to speedy slugger and you're gonna want to go ahead whatever archetype you are using you want to use the loadout that has the most the most amount of speed because if you have stolen bases you will need speed in order to steal bases another thing i want everyone to pay attention to is let's say we had three out of four stolen bases and then we stole a base inside the next game we played that means that we have four out of four completed. If we steal four more bases again, we're not gonna get six reward points because it will only count it once and restart it to zero until we leave that game and start a brand new game. So if you really want to go ahead and save your time, let's say you had four out of five extra base hits and in your first at bat you hit a home run, what you could end up doing is just exiting out right after that home run, the extra base hit will count and this will refresh back to zero out of five and you'll begin working on it once again truthfully speaking the perks don't matter at the beginning stages it really doesn't matter towards the end either as we are playing on beginner difficulty but one thing i want everyone to do is head on over to the equipment section and make sure you equip every single piece of equipment because it does go ahead and help your overall rating as you can see my base contact is 35 but the equipment is what you see as the baseball logo we are getting plus 15 so i actually have 50 contact once i enter a game playing this is pretty simple i highly highly suggest not to change any sliders i don't think it's necessary once you change your sliders you go ahead and you cut the xp you gain from playing a game by half and it really doesn't even do much to be honest with you all i think this is the simplest way that you can go ahead and just get tons of xp we start off with a defensive position so or defensive appearance i should say easy ground ball to the shortstop gonna go ahead okay at least we got the out at first but this is what happens when you don't have the highest fielding yet but most of the times you do make the play in terms of hitting it's super easy you just literally leave the pci in the middle the ball is gonna come extremely slow at you and you have a great green window of going ahead and basically hitting a shot all right now this is how you steal bases inside the game you're gonna be holding down your left stick you're gonna be pressing R1 forward. 
And as soon as you see the pitcher's throwing leg, meaning the leg that he winds up with, go up, you're gonna go ahead and push your left stick up. And that's gonna cause you to get the best jump possible. And if they were to pick off because you were holding the stick down before he lifted up his leg, you will instantly go ahead and jump back to the bag. So watch, I will do it right here. As you can see, the return is highlighted. I am now edging that way. He had a very quick, Jesus Christ, we got gunned out. But you're not gonna have the greatest success at the beginning. But once you do get some speed, you will have better success right at us hopefully this time you see most of the times he's gonna feel it correctly i feel like the beginning of this video has been everything that could go wrong and then everything has been going wrong but most of the times he is gonna be able to make the play no problem there we go that's a nice little base hit since i am the lead runner or since i want to be the lead runner watch what happens as soon as we go ahead and get to second base it's gonna go ahead and fast forward to my next appearance therefore i don't waste time it looks like a sack fly must have occurred and the runner scored or got gunned out now we tr oh shit god damn it whatever happened now we're the lead runner once again so we go ahead and get a chance to steal unfortunately it's gonna be a pop-up but you get to see what i plan on doing if you want to stop yourself at singles you can go ahead and do that but i'd rather get the extra base hits out of the way as fast as possible while giving my chance uh uh, giving myself a chance to steal third every single time like I said it's really hard not to crush each and every single pitch on this difficulty the pitches come extremely slow without you even affecting the sliders and they throw you strikes non-stop you're gonna be knocking out extra base hits literally the entire time and getting yourself a chance to steal third base every single time you don't hit a home run here we're gonna shoot second base and everything is working out perfectly as you can see now the batting stance that i am currently using is brian reynolds a little cheat code that i found is if you go ahead and model it over a current player let's say for example and you put your created player to have the same height and weight as that current player it really really helps you in terms of just having the same exact swing and hitting the ball similar to that player that you model yourself after if i were pitching my created pitcher stance would be Darren O'Day because it's the fastest now you see I'm the runner at third base I can't steal home so instead of me wasting my time seeing what happens I just press next appearance then I press circle and then it takes me directly to my next appearance which is a fielding opportunity in hopefully the final inning of this game there we go you see that arm strength we working on all of it right now we're working on all of it which is beautiful now as you can see we hit ourselves three doubles one home run you're gonna see the amount of xp we end up getting that's gonna count as four extra base hits so we are now four out of five got 864 experience and we are working on raising all of our base attributes you don't want to try to stretch too many doubles into triples but whenever you can and you have a good chance go ahead and do so because it will help your speed tremendously and each time you steal a base it will help your speed tremendously as well so we're gonna be improving everything as time goes on and if we go into this ball player section you will see that now we have ourselves at how many extra base hits? Four out of five. So if I were to play another game right now, as soon as I hit the home run, I would quit because it does not go ahead and give me the extra one. But if you don't believe me, I'll go ahead and show you myself. Towards the end, I don't know if anyone saw, but we needed three more plate appearances in order to actually complete the plate appearances mission as well, which is repeatable. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do this time around. I'm gonna get three plate appearances. If we get more than two extra base hits or more than one extra base hit, it should be, let's say um two or one. Unfortunately, that's not an extra base hit. So we'll take a single for now, but it should be at one if we get two extra base hits because we will hit the five and then we will have one out of five. That should be extra base hit number one, maybe? Yeah, for sure. Oh, we're gonna be able to stretch this into a triple. This is gonna help our speed greatly. Beautiful, you see that? Each time you get a triple, you get a ton of speed. It's beautiful. Playing at big parks definitely will help you out. I don't care about being the lead runner at third. I just want to hit. Third plate appearance, we got ourselves a base hit 
This is going to be turned into an extra base hit, and I'm going to go all the way to third, because why not keep giving myself extra speed in order to make stealing easier for us whenever we have to steal. Now, we should have, since these were two extra base hits, at the end of the game, we should have ourselves one out of five extra base hits. We will see if that's the case, right? We're going to simulate to the end of game and leave it as it is. We don't care what our player does at the end of game and let's see what happens. So at the end of that game, in total, we got 1,689 experience, but don't think we got 1,689 experience because of everything we did inside the game. Do not be fooled. We actually got that much of that much experience because we must have advanced pretty far inside the ball player program. So let's go inside the ball player program. As you can see, we went up to level two. Well, actually, we might have actually gotten all that experience from what we did inside the game. But let's go to Road to the Show missions. As you see, this reset back to zero. We go on to the assist. We're at 17 out of 20 hits, three out of 12 extra base hits. It's still at zero out of five. So those two extra base hits didn't count as two and it only counted as one. So in order to save yourself time, as soon as you get four out of five, get an extra base hit, send to the end of, end of the game, and then just restart all over and make sure on a notepad, Excel sheet, whatever it is, you're keeping track of how many you have and how close you are to fulfilling it. So you don't spend more time than you need to into a game thinking that you're going to be accumulating the stats for the next one when it's really not going to work that way that's also why you don't want to go ahead and get rosters that allow you to get 20 at bats because it is very unlikely that you are going to have all those extra base hits count for you now if you did end up enjoying this tune into the twitch stream we stream every single day 9 p.m eastern check out the discord inside the description social media is inside the description have a blessed day and night stay positive stay safe stay blessed like subscribe notifications i'll catch you all in the next one peace out